Hey guys, today I wanted to show you um, what happens when you print a monolithic trium and you have to grind in the byte. Um, how you go back to your original file. So this is the so this is the trium printed um, and kind of in its new position. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move the jaw position to this position. So first step is to align the upper file and if you kind of leave your roots like this it leaves a very defined area for you to uh, do your matching to um, and uh, basically your match to your maxillary arch aligns much better you always want to align your maxillary because the mandibular arch doesn't move I know it doesn't matter in digital but it kind of helps you wrap your head around what's going on here now, the next step is going to be to move this jaw into the proper position. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our lower. And we're going to basically align everything. So let's look for the central. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll line the lower and we'll go match exclude, go here now and mark automatic. That'll help with the matching. Let's see how we do as far as the distance map. Looks like everything's aligned pretty well there. Now. Um, what we see is we see the jaw position off from our original jaw. So what we can go ahead and do is first delete, oh wait, excuse me, we want to invert our jaw scan so we can align it appropriately to the merge file, get our jaw scan in the proper position. <clears throat> do is we'll match perfect that's a perfect match so now we know that our upper jaw and our lower jaw are in the correct position so in this case doctor didn't say um, anything about the upper aesthetics so well, actually he says please move in line one millimeter to the right oh, photos will be emailed cool so we'll actually bring this into the smile designer later but they said that the upper teeth look okay beyond the midline so we'll go ahead and we'll just move our lower So going to delete the virtual wax up bottom on the lower. Make ourselves a new virtual wax up bottom from this position. First, I'm actually going to address the teeth. So actually, one. Let's move them in line. One millimeter to the patient's right. Good. Should be good. Get our lower alignment a little bit tighter. forward just so we can get 
get in a zone where they would be appropriate. And then from there, I think what we'll do is just kind of straighten out the upper T, get everything in a tighter occlusion. Awesome. There you go. All right, what we'll do is we'll adapt to the upper occlusion. Okay, looks like we got a cut at a So move this tooth out. <coughs> move this tooth back in. Okay, nice. Here we go. Upper occlusion is cut. Perfect. All right. Now we have this designed to our new vertical position. And we will just update our gingiva on both jaws for the upper we could just go ahead and click apply and then for the lower we'll go ahead and uh, draw the line and then we'll have a new trying ready to go or in this case the doctor wants to go to final And that's how you perform a digital remount from a new scan. All right. Looks like we got some tissue work to do here as far as vertical goes. All right. Thanks. Bye.